Okay, folks, we're going to make a quick dinner. Sheet pan glazed meatloaf. And you'll see why this is such a great recipe after we get started. I'm going to use two pounds of ground beef. And this is very lean. So I'm using 96% ground beef. Going to be good. So we'll start by putting that in a bowl. I'm using a 9 by 13 pan. If you're using your regular size oven or you have a family to feed, you might want to use 13 by 18 pan. Okay, we're going to crack one egg in here. We're going to use two cups of water. Seems like a lot, but we're going to use stovetop stuffing mix. I chose the sage variety. This is already seasoned with lots of nice herbs and the highlight is sage. It's a time saver because we don't need to add a lot of extra herbs. And we're going to use the dry stuffing mix. Oh, can you smell that? Oh, it smells so good. Look at all the herbs and some chopped up vegetables in there. Give you a better look here. Lots of herbs. So we're not going to add any extra. Then I need a half a cup of ketchup. So let me measure this. Alright, we're just going to mix this thoroughly. Now the one reason that I think this is such a great way to make meatloaf on a sheet pan is because a lot of times we top our meatloafs with some nice glaze like made with ketchup, made with Worcestershire or something like that. But when you do that and you cut a slice of meatloaf, you only get glaze on one small piece of the meatloaf. However, if we make it in the sheet pan, we can top the whole thing with glaze. And when the whole thing is topped with glaze and you take your slice of meatloaf, the whole thing is topped with the nice glaze. <laughs> Don't you think that's a good idea? And then I had an even more devious reason for liking that. When I usually take the last couple slices of meatloaf and make sandwiches out of them, the sandwiches will also have the glaze in there on the whole sandwich on every bite. Alright, let's take the meatloaf and put it into the pan. Now, if you're using the larger pan, you can use three pounds of ground beef. Some people like to mix a pound of turkey with two pounds of ground beef if you're making a bigger pan. All right. Now, this is really full, but it will shrink. And now we want to put a a glaze on top. You can mix a glaze if you have one of your own recipes with ketchup and Worcestershire or whatever, but I'm going to use some central barbecue sauce. This was given to us by a good friend. This is Memphis style. It's really good, really good stuff. And since I know we're going to eat every bite of this, I'm going to spread some on top of here. Thank you, Diamond Jim. Mm -hmm. 
All right. That pretty much glazes our meatloaf. Wasn't that easy to do? I always like to show you how it looks in the oven. The glaze is nice and brown. The meat is fully done. I checked the temperature, so let's get it out on the counter and get ready to cut it. Oh, here we go. It's a little better light to look at it. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Ooh, let's check the temperature here. We want it to be 165 degrees for ground beef. So we'll look right in the middle. Okay, there's 167, 170. That's really perfect. All right, I baked this at 375 degrees for about 40 minutes. So we're just going to let it rest for a few minutes here and then I'll cut a slice and show you what it looks like. Because we bake it when it's thinner, it won't dry out as fast. that look at that now we don't have to give a person just a slight bit of glaze we can give them the whole top glazed isn't that a nice way to serve a meatloaf to someone mm, that looks good all right let's just have a little sampling of that look how nice and moist mm. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. All right, I just couldn't resist from showing you this. I have a nice onion roll here, just a hamburger roll. And I'm going to take a nice little square out of here and make a nice meatloaf sandwich. Now, you can eat this hot or you can eat this cold. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> you're going to enjoy that nice moist meatloaf with the glaze on top from the barbecue sauce with the nice Memphis barbecue sauce. Either way you eat this hot or cold sandwich or meatloaf dinner with some mashed potatoes and veggies or a salad, either way you'll like this recipe. Hey, here he comes. Oh, so <laughs> He's ready to eat. Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. That was good.